Vegas has Rory McIlroy as the clear-cut favorite to win this year's Masters Tournament, rightfully so after what he did in Ponte Vedra. Notable names to miss the cut, Jordan Spieth's woes continue. But how much does he remember the final rounds here at Augusta in 2011 and 2018 when he wasn't able to get it done? You heard from Jim Furyk, he became the oldest man to shoot a 64 at TPC Sawgrass at the Players, 48 years of age. The last time someone in the penultimate group won here at Augusta National, Adam Scott. 2013. Chris, Rory McIlroy may have been the only Irishman today not wearing green on St. Paddy's Day, but boy was he rolling in the color. 2.25 million to the winner of today's tournament. But now the schedule has the Honda Classic and Bay Hill leading up to the event in Jacksonville, two of the biggest events on tour. Tiger Woods isn't the American dream. He's the American fantasy, and when we thought he was reaching the peak of that figment, Utopia slipped out from under his feet. From the time he was a little kid on national talk shows to today, his life has been under a microscope that shows every blemish of his career on and off the golf course. We saw every personal dogleg left and right he wasn't able to cut or draw around, but that made today's victory all the more sweet. One of the greatest images of Tiger Woods is after the 97 Masters, right off the edge of the green. Tiger hugging his father, Earl. Earl's no longer on this earth, but Tiger recreated that moment today, 22 years later, with his own son, Charlie. No one will ever have that American fantasy Tiger's had. He will go down as one of the greatest golfers of all time. But working from the darkest holes of your career back to the pinnacle of whatever the goal is, that's a dream we can all aspire to. A couple Americans, Brant Snedeker, Ollie Schneider Jans, world number one, Dustin Johnson, rounding out the top half of that leaderboard at minus 10. There's been a lot of concern about this week's tournament. No, I'm not talking about the golf or the move to March. We're talking about the weather for this weekend, in particular tomorrow's final round. A name you're going to want to watch for on NBC tomorrow, Sierra Brooks. She's at three under par, just two shots back of the leader. On the backside, it was Rory McIlroy who closed strong to get it to 12 under par. Countless surgeries and swing coaches later, not even Vegas had money to see the big cat ever win again. So if you're like me and you hit it in this, you normally have five minutes to look for the ball. Now right. it's down to three minutes. Correct. Tiger Woods is the reason so many of the guys who now beat him on tour even started playing the game of golf. He expanded and grew the sport that many people brushed aside as boring. The cool thing about Sunday's round at the Tour Championship is that Tiger created this. He sparked a fandom in most of these people during the prime of his career, and now in 2018, he gets to live the fruits of his labor. This transcends sport. It's what it's all about. We say Tiger's back, but by the looks of this crowd and the imprint he left on the sport, it's like he never left. Tommy Fleetwood came out of the gates and went birdie, eagle birdie to start his day at TPC Sawgrass. Oh, that looks good. Pebble Beach is going to be the home of the United States Open this year. That's this summer. We can only imagine what it would be like to have success at Pebble. Well, someone in Jacksonville has. Bartram Trail grad and UNF golfer Andrew Alligood. An international golfer has won three of the last five championships here at TPC Sawgrass. It looks like that trend is going to continue this weekend with the leaderboard Europe filled from top to bottom. When Pete, Alice's husband, was designing the stadium course in Ponte Vedra, he'd finalized 17 holes. Had room for one more, a par three to round out a par 72 course. There wasn't much room left to work with. That's when Alice stepped in. Guys who have been playing well as of late took advantage of the course. You can put Ian Poulter in that category. A winner on tour just two weeks ago in Houston. Will we have to move it to Monday? We will find out tomorrow, but are the players concerned? Me O'Brien has more. And if there's a home away from home for Tiger Woods in the game of golf, it's Augusta National. 2019, new year, new me. Also new rules in the game of golf. Came in and raised the greens a little bit. I think that is awesome because yeah. now you can see the ocean and that, and that gives you something you can't really get anywhere else. Charlie Hoffman lit the world on fire. An unconscious 63 yesterday. Scoring conditions on Friday were ripe for the getting. The Loves, Davis, of course, a five-time winner here. Rory McIlroy and Tommy Fleetwood atop of the leaderboard at 12 under par but it's not just the players who are here from all over the world, it's the fans as well. John Rahm, your leader at 15 under par, Tommy Fleetwood in his hair right behind him at 14 under. Unless your name's Jim Furyk or Fred Funk sitting at home in Jacksonville watching this, your name has never popped up on a leaderboard at Augusta National. What's that feeling like?